I'm Lisa Durrell. I've been involved with CREA for about six years, both being on the board and on the programs committee, and always walking the trails. I'm always looking for things I haven't seen before and then going home and researching them and finding out more information about their natural history and their human history. Today we're going to take a look at this big red oak that's on the trail between the Ecology Center and the river. The first thing you notice about this oak is that it's huge and it's so much more substantial than any of the trees around it, which to me says this was the tree in an open area. The other thing you notice is that there are three trunks, not just one. That is because these three trunks were all sprouted from the original stump. They are called stump sprouts. Now the stump would have been about three feet to four feet wide when it was cut down. The rule of thumb is about a foot of diameter for 50 years. So that would make the tree 150 to 200 years old when it was cut down. The stump sprouts themselves have been here a while. They're probably close to 100 years old. And we add the 100 years since the tree was cut down to the 150 to 200 years of age that the original tree was when it was cut down. And we have a tree that sat, stood, stood in this spot for 250 years or more. This tree would have been supported all that time by a set of roots which provided food and water and support for the tree above it, including these stump sprouts. That means that these roots have been around doing their job for 250 or more years. That brings us back to the American Revolution, to George Washington, and I find that pretty awesome. Now we could also talk about how these roots are all connected to the roots out around us and how they're all tied together by the underground fungal network, but that's a story for another day. <laughs>